subscriber Bethany Fuller asked me to record this video or this wig recap here on Cody by Amore. If you're new, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. And if you're a returning subscriber, then you probably already know that um, I do some wig recaps. Now, my personal opinion is Cody is a great wig. I think that she has a very realistic uh, double mono. Um, I love the chin length bob here. I find that this particular cap to fit me well. I'm sort of a petite average and it's not too bulky in the crown. The cap circumference unadjusted is comfortable for me. Um, the usual Cody, um, just with the double monofilament crown, it's probably just under 200 US dollars in the United States. Um, Cody XO, which I believe is, a, I don't know if it's a fully hand-tied cap, but that runs around 300, um, a bit more than 300. Um, I would say, if you take into consideration that the, this cut at a salon would probably cost you around that much, I used to have my hair like this. Um, it was a cherry red, but it was basically the same sort of haircut, but with a short fringe. I had that haircut at 20, 21, and I got it done at Tony and Guy, and I got out of Tony and Guy for about three, four hundred dollars. So with the cut, the color, the styling, and the product, it probably cost me about as much as buying Cody here. Um, and Cody, if taken care of well, will last you longer than that Tony and Guy salon cut um, because reds have a smaller smaller color molecule so they tend to fade faster in human hair so a red color at a salon is going to fade faster your hair is going to start growing out um, so really i think this is an excellent buy if you like this cut i really think this is a great first wig it will seem pricey compared to some of the alternatives out there uh, but I think the more wigs are most certainly worth it. So I'll get on to the other footage that I recorded for Bethany. And then at the very end, there will be the wig recap where you will see the internal construction of Cody here. Uh, but this is a short bob style. It's got these little longer wispy pieces in the front and it's a bit shorter in the back. Um, it is a double monofilament. So from here to here, you have a double monofilament crown. For the size of this particular style, I find her to be uh, pretty a pretty good fit for me. The color so here is burgundy, and it's just a nice burgundy red. That's pretty, there's no, I don't know if there's any visible highlights, I really couldn't say. Um, but it's a beautiful style, obviously, because of the monofilament, the uh, monofilament crown here, you can change the part anywhere. With Amore, I find the hair fibers on Amore to be really fine and to be really very realistic. And actually, Bethany had asked me to talk about Cody because actually I wear Cody all the time now. Um, and for some reason when I got her, I didn't even think to do a recap. I but love Cody. This is probably my favorite uh, right now because, you know, as a mom, a stay-at-home mom, I basically throw my hair on, throw some cosmetics at my face, throw some clothes on, and then take my son to school. So I don't have time to do anything. So much easier. A lot of mothers say to me, gosh, I need to get a wig because I don't have time to do my hair in the morning. I've got, you know, one kid, two kids, three kids, and I don't have any time. I just need to throw something on my head and get out the door and still feel good about myself. And I'm like, there you go, wigs, great thing. So anyhow, Bethany, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so uh, much for watching. And again, if you've returned, thanks for hanging out if you're new. Uh, hopefully you'll see fit to click the subscribe button and be notified when I upload more videos like this one and uh, also some other fun videos like vlogs and makeup videos. Thanks so much for hanging out. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Take care, bye-bye.
and frankly I do fiddle with my wigs sometimes and because I do have kind of a petite head I do tend to kind of adjust them and then like I said I almost lost it in Tesco so that was almost embarrassing but I'm so just open about myself and it's like fine if it falls off and eh, I'll look silly for two seconds and then no one will remember it and if they do who are they they're just people in the grocery store they they I don't care what they think